Hello everyone and welcome to The Frame. The effective cleaning of gigantic trucks operating on hazardous roads and out-of-town locations is so essential that many construction companies are now installing special washing stations at the exits of their sites. In Europe, for instance, countries are placing stricter legal requirements on construction site operators. Government laws stipulate that vehicles must be washed before leaving construction sites, quarries, and other similar locations. Consequently, companies like Sunny Wash, one of the leading manufacturers of wheel wash systems in Europe, have come up with ingenious washing systems that are installed at the exits of construction sites and quarries. The system is already popular in Germany, where the car washing system's market is worth $1.4 billion. The B&R quarry in Nürnbrecht is one of such facilities. The installation is operated with multiple water units, which allow for a total system performance of about 438 cubic feet of water per minute, passed out through 584 powerful jet nozzles. This force is capable of removing all sorts of stones, mud and sand as the tire rolls by. About 150 trucks come to this site each day and stop at the washing point to remove the dirt from their tires and undersides on their way out. These highly abrasive materials are therefore prevented from littering major highways and potentially causing harm to motorists and other road users as well. In nearby Switzerland, companies like Mosmatic Corporation are utilizing special modular washing systems capable of providing high-pressure cleaning solutions on the go. Powered with a special technology known as air recovery, these systems are versatile enough to clean a wide variety of surfaces, including trucks and other heavy equipment. Thanks to the vertical spray adapters that can swivel even under high pressures of 4,000 PSI, these systems can clean even underneath the trucks where other systems might not reach. One can rarely expect to operate in perfect conditions when functioning in a global logistics industry. From rain and snow to dirt roads and gravel, it's not uncommon to encounter difficult to clean parts in a vehicle that take a serious toll on a vehicle's overall and ability to operate safely. That's why it's so important to prevent potentially dangerous accumulation by removing muddy buildup and other dirt as quickly as possible, especially from tires and other exposed parts. This process is carried out through very intense pressure washing, which has become very popular in most major cities of the world. In fact, truck washing is a $12 billion industry in the United States alone, where truckers typically have to deal with almost any type of road condition in the outskirts of the cities. Other reasons for the increasing popularity of pressure washing include the rising number of car washing stations and the growing demand for pressure washers for heavy-duty commercial applications. Compared with other businesses like convenience stores and gas stations, some entrepreneurs consider running a car washing station to have a clear edge in terms of budget and staffing or human resources. Also, as more and more entrepreneurs look to start their own pressure washing companies or add it to their current businesses, special schools are now coming up to teach them the ins and outs of the trade. These schools offer professional courses on how to use cold water pressure washers and its components, chemical application, wash water control, power wash safety, and much more. Despite the popularity and overall effectiveness of pressure washing, it is known for consuming high levels of water.
For instance, a good high-pressure washer designed for home use with around 2100 PSI will expend about 10 gallons a minute. As negligible as this may seem, for specialized pressure washing companies using more sophisticated pump systems with higher flow rates, this can significantly raise operational costs. To help solve this issue, many companies are now using special water reclaim systems, which can keep the water from entering storm drains or lawns. These portable systems vacuum up water expended during the cleaning process. Using a 20-foot rubber berm, the device first contains the water, then uses a suction filter to separate debris as the water is passed up into the tank. In situations where grease and oil might be sucked in along with the spent water, special absorption socks can be added to the tank. These absorption socks pull the grease and oil out so they can be easily discarded later. There are also special filters that can clean the wastewater down to the micron level, suitable to be repassed through a pressure washer, thereby permitting indefinite recycling. The entire pressure washing process is being incorporated into comprehensive heavy equipment cleaning systems in many parts of the world. Hence, the global pressure washer market size continues to grow exponentially. Evaluated at $2.5 billion in 2021, it's expected to reach over $3 billion by 2026. This projected compound annual growth rate of about 4.2% is a direct result of increasing construction activities worldwide. A tendency championed by the U.S. construction industry, which is quickly recovering the thousands of jobs lost due to the COVID pandemic. With the introduction of robotic pressure washers and water recycling methods, trucks and other machines can be cleaned of mud without doing any significant harm to the environment or incurring extra cost on water usage. This portrays pressure washing as not only efficient and cost-effective, but also an environmentally friendly activity. That's the end of this feature on the frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time!